Who's starting this one? Or do we just... Wh- how do we ever do the mini-sodes? Do we just decide just to go? I think you just started it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the start. Cut yeah. to the song! <laughs> So we're watching, we watched uh, De- De- Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I I I went and saw it this past weekend, and then uh, I caught home that day. I was like, Spencer, let's do a mini soda about this movie because it's weird. It's a weird one. It's like I'm very conflicted on it in both really good ways and like not horrible ways, but just like not great ways. You know? Y- yes. So uh, to get it out of the way, because I'm we try to keep it. Uh, positive and supportive and all of those things. And this yeah. is a movie that I, I hard stop like. I yeah. like this movie. Yeah. I've thought about it quite a bit. I've seen it twice. I really enjoy this movie. Yeah. It, it, it's maybe not that... The, the craft is nothing to write home about. Yeah. The, the, the craft is in places really lacking on both a writing and a like directing and stage like uh, pretty much across the board. I think I think the thi- the biggest version of that for me is not even like a craft thing personally. I mean it's a craft thing, but it's like it is so clear they did not have enough time or maybe budget for to make the special effects actually look good. Which so many of them look quite, quite, quite. Po- which poor is to me. ludicrous to me because the strikes happened while filming this, so yeah. you. C- You'd think how, that they'd how much they had shot, how many of these, sh- how many shots are full VFX shots you couldn't be working on, like yeah. shit like that. That's the crazy part to me. Um, but look, the Marvel, Marvel and VFX are a like, yeah, they're starting to unionize slash have unionized over the Marvel thing. Yeah, I, like, um, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we see some positive results from that. I mean, just on the final product from for the final product. Yeah. Um, let alone for the workers that are being yes like that's the thing is they're being overworked and this is the the final product yeah it's like how about why don't we give them a normal amount of work yeah and give them the time to do it right and you'll have a better final product in the end i couldn't agree more uh because yeah it's it's it, yeah. unnecessary to rush these things when it, it's that the quote about video games is like um a rushed video game is bad forever yeah a delayed video game you know, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, a delayed video game can be good. Yeah, it's like there's the potential for, yeah. for greatness. Um, so yeah, no, that's that's the part of this movie that is like frustrating and the, like, the immediate thing I walked out thinking was just like, wow, like it's so weird that I like this movie as much as I do. Yeah. Because um, I really like it. Yeah. Like, I really enjoy so much of this movie. Yeah. I wish the script was a little tighter. Like yeah. th- there's some logic leaps and things that don't quite perfectly makes sense but it facilitates a lot of things that i love to watch happen yeah. so like i'm i'm in on that yeah. um yeah i don't know it's like to, to to roll it back a little bit i i personally like love the fox era x-men yeah. shit like there it's so up and down and boy howdy all over the place boy both, howdy both from like a a narrative point of view where yeah. it's like everyone kind of just changed and did whatever. And also from a like quality point of view, some of them are really great and some of them are like, okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in many ways, the first X-Men kind of kicked off. Oh yeah. Like this modern era of, of yeah. superhero it's, cinema. It's like that and blade. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, those were yeah, the yeah. two things that just all of a sudden you're like, Oh, okay. So these are like viable options for making movies. Right. Um, and I, you know, that, that I grew up loving superheroes kind of fell off and then discovered X-Men and Hugh Jackman as Wolverine yeah. and like got super back into it. So yeah. it's like, I do owe these movies a lot of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. As you can see, they're all lined up behind us. I have multiple copies of so many of them. Um, <laughs> you have multiple copies of more than one movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the two Logan, two Deadpool. I have the rogue cut of days of future past and then also the regular cut in here. And yeah, it's a whole thing. Of course. Um, yeah, I, I really, and I leading up to Deadpool three, I rewatched all of it. Yeah. Other than dark Phoenix. I didn't rewatch dark Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, have you how seen was, it? How was Armageddon again? Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Whatever. Uh, it has things. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Whatever. It has things that are good, and then I remember. Nah. I've seen that movie. I remember almost nothing about I, it. I, yeah, Fassbender gives like maybe his best performance okay, in the, the first thing, half, and quite, then in the second half, there's not a lot for him to 
do. Quite literally, um, the only thing I remember about that is Fassbender. Yeah, it's 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 a you, you, you know um, they tried to do Apocalypse in one movie. It's like yeah, he's, he's one of their biggest villains. Why are we doing him just in one? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, that movie is is what it is. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of fun. It's got a lot of heart. Um, yeah, but it's it doesn't quite make it especially after days of future past which is like really good which is great yeah like, like that movie's great days of future past and first class are like holy like yeah. off that run it's it's a tough one to yeah and then yeah pretty pretty big jump down for yeah. apocalypse and then dark phoenix is just i don't even uh, know what happened gorbosh um, like, but anyway yeah ugh. Um, but the Deadpool movies, I really like. I like Deadpool one is really good, and Deadpool two is Deadpool two is super underrated. I, I like, yeah, I like in the in the uh, 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 God, I can't talk in the superhuman in this in the in the, in the super fucking fuck superhero. I can't talk in the superhero canon. I think Deadpool two is great. Yeah, I think Deadpool two is great. Yeah. I think the movie looks phenomenal. I think the emotional through line is like super strong. Yeah. Like really, really funny. Like I, I, I think the it like action is spectacular. It's great. It's great. Um, I think that movie is super underrated. Yeah. It's like it, the, the narrative issues with fridging in the superhero genre yeah. are what they are. And yeah. they, that's what they chose to do. And then they chose to undo it at the end. Which yeah. Is pretty funny. Um, which was not their choice. Uh, they were, ah. yeah, they, the studio was like, well, you have his thing. Can you fix it? And they were like, well, no, then it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. And then Ryan Reynolds was like, fine, if you're going to make us do it, I'm going to add this whole sequence at the end where I go and fix some stuff. <laughs> yeah. He kills himself about to read Green Lantern and then. <laughs> so good. Yeah. The great, great gag. Um, sets up the tease of one day you're. Old pal Wade is going to ask you to go on a mission. And when he does, you say yes. And then it fulfilled itself miraculously somehow. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, no, I'm, I'm Logan, I think, is just a hard stop great movie. Like yeah. that transcends anything and everything yeah. in the superhero genre and becomes, I think, it's, I think it's the best of the Fox era movies, period. I don't know how you could make another argument. Like, yeah, I don't no, know what the other yeah. argument would even be. Exactly. Um, yeah. and, and then past that, it's like, it's that one. And then I, I put that one in the same sphere of like the Batman, which is just a great movie. Yeah. Um, uh, think, the spider verse movies, which are just great movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's up there in, in, in that realm. I also think the Wolverine is super underrated. Two thirds of the Wolverine are super. Yeah. Underrated. Uh, Two thirds of it for sure. Honestly, I wouldn't like, it's like the last like 20 minutes. It really is. You know yes. what I mean? Like yeah. it's not even, it's not even the last act. It's literally the last 20 minutes it, of the last. It act. just gets a little too. Uh, big for what that for what so much of that movie is it gets so big right Literally, there at the all end all the way up until he gets inside that building yeah it, it's great yeah and then he gets inside the building it gets really cheesy yeah it, it yes yeah. <laughs> but then, I mean, James Mangold he makes a good movie um and so I, I do really enjoy the Wolverine I yeah. think that is one of Hugh's best performances as 100%. the character 100% um oh shoot I also didn't grab X-Men Origins which I which I also I do own <laughs> Oh, um, and shit, it's not it's, in it's, there, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, which is funny. That feels mean. A little. Uh, first Class, I think, is the other like best one of these yeah. movies. Like First Class is genuinely so good. How do you compare it to Days of Future Past? I like First Class more. Yeah. Um, I think it's directed better. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen Days of Future Past in a clip, um, but I, I literally just rewatched. Yeah. Uh, Days of Future Past is... Don't worry, I really like that movie. Yeah. I think it has a couple of like things that I harp on a little. Yeah. Like... It, uh, it, I should say this, a couple missed opportunities. Mm, Not mm. having future Wolverine with adamantium claws fight a sentinel in the whole movie is yeah. like a wild oversight. Yeah. Um, that I don't understand how they did. It's like things like that. It's like, you have got us all the way here. I'm a fan. Service me. Yeah. You know what I mean, I, like a little bit of those things where it's like, well, I would have liked to see this or see this interaction or whatever. But that's the only thing in that movie that like really gets harped on is like, man, you had it right there to tee up like a great moment. Yeah. And you just didn't do it. Budget cut, timing, whatever. Probably, it was. yeah, like, yeah. But I think Fazbender and McAvoy are so good in yes. Days of Future Past. They're so yeah. good in all of them. Um, yeah, when they're given um, the um, opportunity up, to be up until uh, yeah. the very last one, which nobody tried. In, I yeah, don't think. but anyway, anyway. Um, now on to fucking uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, yeah. I I think um what one thing that like. I was afraid I wasn't going to like as much as I actually ended up like just really, really enjoying is how, how, and, and you put it a really, really great way of like, 
uh, all of the Fox properties that they bring back in and reference and stuff is all super loving and really funny mm-hmm. and cool. And like the butt of the joke is always the MCU yeah, yeah. in like a really good and fun way. But like all of the references to the previous uh, like Fox stuff, I really like. Yeah. Like I, I like. Uh, and I think you and I disagree slightly. On it. Well, I think I was I'm kind of wrong about it. But walking out of that movie, it really felt like, OK, the Fox shit is dead. We have the things that we want to keep. Everything else is fucking dead. Quit talking about it. Yeah, because um, like that, like that post credit sequence where it's like showing like, you know, with the freaking Green Day song, like showing all the Fox like stuff. Um, but it, it's just like. All of those other characters are either dead or in the fucking void. Yeah. Um, yeah. In a way that's like, man, like, well, but then they pull some of them out. The like, confusing thing is this movie has like this weird inconsistency where like Logan is in the main yeah. X-Men timeline, Ooh, which so like confusing for, forever that. everyone was like, no, it's not. It's its own thing. Like, yeah. Because to me, the ending for our Logan was Days of Future Past, the happy ending. Yeah. And then Logan was just its own yeah, separate great story. I thought, I yeah, because like, I mean, like, is not is Logan not kind of like post apocalyptic in a little bit of a way? Like, not no, it's uh, like um uh, slightly dystopian yeah. is how I would put it. And it's like that's like not the universe. No, Deadpool and it, they, is really in. no, like, and well, and that's thing is the the confusing part about this is Deadpool and his current time. If he was not at the TVA or whatever, when, when we meet Deadpool, Logan is still alive. <laughs> Say that one more time. So, like, if the, the timeline of this movie, um, Logan takes place in, like, 20... Th- whatever. It takes place... Oh, it takes place in the future. In the future. And so, like, Deadpool goes looking for a different Wolverine. He could have just gone to back to his main timeline, grabbed that Wolverine, yeah. and brought him along. Instead, they go to a right. different universe to grab whatever, which is... it's it, it That, I think, is because of the writer's strike, I think. Yeah. I, I think it... You know, the other thing that I kept thinking was like, why are we not using the time turner? He's got the fucking time machine. Why are oh, we not yeah. using the time machine? Yeah. Uh, it, he has it on at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. I don't know what he does with it. I don't know if there's a throwaway line somewhere where he talks. I can't remember, but they never mention it. Yeah. Like, um, I, you know, maybe. No, s- they do. He, he says he got rid of it. He's like, cause when he first gets picked up by the TVA, he's like, if this is about cables, time watch, I just oh. fixed some stuff and I got rid of it. Yeah, but like... Oh, I know. Trust me. What? If, what? Like... Yeah. Uh, whatever. Um, and I got rid... Of, I, I, we could be misremembering yeah. the line, I guess. But like, even if it is if it is that egregious, if you ask me... Yeah, it's It'd be great. a fun thing to get rid of it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like... Yeah. It's like stuff like that. It's like those weird little it, inconsistent little naggy details that like... But it falls in like the line with like Fast and Furious where like the plot is gobbledygook. Yeah. I but mean, yeah. the sentimentality and the heart and the fucking love it has for everything going on right. is so wonderful and nice that I'm like on board. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Because like I shouldn't like this movie. Yeah. Like there's a lot about it that like is... In without, I mean, without mincing words, bad. Yeah, but like yeah. that stuff, like every time it like downshifts and yes. like they have an actual conversation, it's like, wow, this is good. Yeah, like this is like yeah. actually both like, of them are operating really, really high levels of their acting capability. Like, and I and I wonder how much of it is just like, you know, uh, those two, you know. Uh, actors and like you know obviously ryan reynolds is deeply involved in yes. the production of this stuff at this point i would i would be interested to know how how ryan reynolds is one of the few if not the only actor who produced oh no uh downey produced i think at least iron man 3 yeah but uh generally the actors are not really involved right. in these movies and he came over and made that i mean deadpool is his baby you know yeah, what I mean? 100%. Like, he's very aware that deadpool like saved his career yeah. you know what i mean i'd be interested to know how how uh hugh jackman how how much say he had you know what i mean like yeah he's, he's had that character for so long like is you know like uh, like a, a tv show actors or you know talk a lot about how like if they feel something about their character needs to be happening they'll go to the writers in the writer room being like yeah what? can we do something you know what i mean like and then they they have some i mean in a lot they of have ways more sway like, than the director of uh, the episode very you know much I mean? so yes it's, yeah and so i'd be i'd be interested to know if if hugh jackman wants or re- like has or even wants 
any kind of sway over because like so much of what works for Wolverine feels like is like Hugh Jackman. You know yeah, what I mean? My, like, my guess is it's kind of, uh, Bill Hader talked about this um, about Anthony Kerrigan and Barry. Yeah. Who plays NoHo Hank. And mm-hmm. the, uh, he essentially is like, oh, yeah, we don't we don't tell him what to do anymore. He just kind of <laughs> he just owns that character. <laughs> my guess is it's something along those lines where they yeah. gave him material and they wrote it all. But no one's really directing him all that much on like characterization because right. he fucking owns it. Yeah. Like, he's just so good. There's no world that, you know, Sean Levy is giving him real notes could come in with any sort like even like. Uh, 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 Hugh Jackman has forgotten more about Wolverine than Sean Levy yeah. will ever know. Yeah. Uh, which is a thing that you always say yeah, about yeah, Scorsese, yeah. which yeah. I really like. Specifically about Wolverine, that dude fucking loves Wolverine. Yeah. The one super <laughs> movie he's into. What <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever he feels about, like, Logan. Because that movie's just so fundamentally uh, great. I do. Of- well, the, I can't find this clip. So if. Internet, if you have this clip, send it to me. Ethan Hawke has been very, like, open about not liking superhero shit. And then he went and did a superhero thing because Scott Derrickson talked about it. Because he's using, he'll talk about the ones he likes, but he's gone back on this and said he does like this movie. He likes Logan. But when it first came out, people, he was talking about the superhero genre. He was bashing it on a late night show. And he was like, he's like, everyone told me to go see Logan. It was like a real movie. And I was like, all right, I'll, yeah, I'll go see. He's like, and then I watched it and it's like, it's about a guy who has knives coming out of his hands. Wow. And I was like, what a bad take. Because you were in The Purge. You like you walked in wanting to dislike that movie. That's the like, problem. And I think he's since gone back on it. And he's like, oh, I like the one, these certain ones. Where he's like, yeah. the ones that are like human stories I like. And so I don't know if that was... Maybe I completely making up that clip. But it, yeah. I can see how Ethan Hawke is sitting. So I don't think I am. Um, anyway, it's... it's I, Dude, I would, dude's got a way of sitting. That guy's but, got a way of sitting. But I would be fascinated to know how like... Score says he feels about that or Spider Verse or like the Batman Knight, or the yeah, Dark Knight, yeah. you know? Like, he's he's a Dark Knight stan, he's I, one of those. I kind of bet he would like that movie, though. I mean, it's just heat, yeah, it's just a Michael Mann movie, you know what I mean? Well, like, and here's the thing there's certain people, and this is uh, I am not this way, but there's certain people who like, oh, the Batman, Dark Knight, Logan, it's a great movie. But it's about a guy with knives coming out of his knuckles. Yeah. Like they they are unable to suspend their disbelief on that. Crazy. Which like I don't understand. Like I'm watching a movie. A movie is already such a ridiculous concept yeah. in and of itself that yeah. like why not go with it? Yeah. Do you feel that way when you watch the Xenomorph attack? Like yeah. is it a? It's a guy in a suit. Yeah. So Freaking, it's awesome. Uh, Shutter Island's about a crazy guy. It's like, you know I mean? like that's, uh, no, I, it's like, not what that movie's about at all. Like you yeah. know what I mean? It's ugh. Some people are just... None of it even happened. He's just crazy. Yeah. Like, Some people oh are God, just... Shut up. Can't suspend their disbelief in ways and I don't get it. Which yeah. is like part of what I love about like Fast and Furious is I have zero issues whatsoever going, yeah, cars work like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm completely and fine. And then fucking uh, uh, Christopher Nolan fucking loves those movies. Yes, like, he does. He's yeah. like... Because the craft of them is generally really quite good yeah. for, for uh, many of them. In so many ways, like the things that... like And again, like the a bunch of the like stunts and stuff are mm-hmm. crazy and cool and then the how weirdly emotional it is yes. like throughout like anyway not to bring make this about fast and furious uh, everything is about every everything comes back everything to fast leads furious. back to fast and furious um, all roads lead to the fast and furious uh but th- this movie i feel like is the equivalent of that where it's yeah. like there are things about yeah. it that are just like objectively not great like genuinely trying to describe parts of the plot is a bit confusing where you're just I like don't i don't even i couldn't tell you so much of what happened. Or yeah, why. it's like it, a lot of it comes out of the post Loki season two thing, where like what happens at the end of that yeah. becomes part of what's going I, on. But they never really establish the rules in Loki yeah. of how it works. So you're coming into this like, okay, I think I got it. Like I have not seen Loki season two. And uh, I honestly don't know how that would help me. I'll be honest. Um, Cause it feels like everything that I know about the TVA from season one I feel like is represented in the show. Uh, well, like the, the TVA would have been on, um, his side, the TVA dude. Um, uh, what's this fucking paradox? Yeah. They would have been on his side in season one In season two, they changed their way. So like if a world needs to be pruned, they kind of let it happen naturally. Uh, they they essentially, the yeah. essentially they give each world, each timeline, each universe, a chance, a chance to fight yeah. for itself. Yeah. And he's trying to go back to the old ways is what the plot of the movie is. That, yeah. I you know what I mean? Like I didn't even need that context. To, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that. I, I got th- that. This you movie know? inevitably and ultimately comes down to a weird sort of road movie yes. about a married couple fucking angry in a Honda Odyssey. Yeah. 
and they meet some strange characters along the way. Yeah. You know, it's like that's essentially what it is. Yeah. But I like that. Like Johnny yeah. Storm, man. Like what what a the, fucking fun, weird thing that happened. Was not on my bingo card from no. this movie. And was maybe my favorite like surprise cameo. Yeah. Because like, look, everybody has seen uh Channing Tatum. Yeah. At this point, I'm about to make a name you for myself. You know how long I've been waiting for this? I'm about to make a name for myself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, which genuinely so, hilarious so and awesome. So good. Like, holy fuck, I want that now. Like, yeah. Like, really actually want that. And he looks great. The yeah. costume that they put together looks great. Yeah. Um, the, the, the fact that he was never given his chance to just be Gambit yeah. sucks. Yeah. Um, and, and he finally got it. You and know? he finally got it. And, and he killed it. And like, he fucking knocked it out of the park. <laughs> and, and and I bet he was like, see? See? I'm yeah. the best part of this fucking movie. Yeah. He's like, I'm <laughs> the part they all loved. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, uh, like all that stuff um, like worked for me more than I thought it yeah. would. Um, and and, and uh, uh, Johnny Storm? Johnny Blaze? What is it? Johnny Storm. Oh, I thought it was. I'm dumb. No, Johnny Blaze is uh, Ghost Rider. That's Ghost Rider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Who was also supposed to be in this movie at one point. Oh, really? Uh, Nick Cage, which would have been awesome. Hilarious. Uh, my guess is The Flash kind of turned him off of that. Ah, uh, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Um, fuck it, that was, yeah, no joke. Um, uh, best best surprise cameo of the entire movie. Yeah, he's... Oh, it, and then the Henry Cavill... Uh, the Cavalrine. That also got spoiled for me. Oh, dude, I... I Because I, I was in Austin... Uh, when it came out and we just could not get tickets. Yeah. Like literally it was impossible. I couldn't either. So we went a couple days late and I literally was swiping on Twitter yeah. and one picture spoiled literally every cameo because it was like a cast photo of everybody. Oh. And I went, well, now I know everyone who's in this movie. Yeah. I was, and it still worked. Like it's still, all of it played. I went and saw it with Breck. Breck had no idea who was in it. So the Captain America thing, like hardcore worked on oh, her. Oh, it super worked on me Where too. I was sitting there like, I know who it is. It's like, fucking Cap. Yeah. It's fucking Cap. Yeah. I can't, well, I was actually annoyed. I was like, yeah. I'm like, are they really fucking, is he, is Captain America really in the fucking void? Well, it, it, not and, only is and, Captain America in the void, did Chris Evans really come back? Yes. Cause like, he feels like the only one who's had the integrity to go, I'm not playing Captain America again. Yeah. Like this feels somehow miraculously works. Like the meta narrative is he came back and did another Marvel movie. But he's coming back and playing Johnny Storm to for immediately die yeah, for the for bit. For the bit. Like, uh, yeah, works. Like, like, totally, yeah. Like, I'll give Ryan Reynolds that. People come and do him favors like crazy. Yeah. Because, like, him and Wesley Snipes had beef for so long. Over Blade. About Blade Trinity. Yeah. Because they hated working together. Really? And so when everyone was joking about Blade being... Well, the funny part is Blade is in the movie twice. There's the CW's Blade. In the background of several shots. Oh, in the void. In the void at the the compound, the Ant Man compound. Yeah. So people saw that in the trailer, and they're like, "Oh, he put Blade in the movie, just not Wesley Snipes." That's so funny. And so when Wesley Snipes walks in, it's like this great fucking moment. Yeah. You're like, "Okay, word, I'm in." That's fun. Um, but yeah, it's like the the end moment is really emotional to me, where they're like holding hands. That, and yeah, that works so well for me. I thought it was so cool. You know, he's like the fucking suit. The suit. The I, suit. Fuck it, dude. The suit's good. Everyone is complaining about it. I, every, they're all wrong and stupid and and ugly and dumb. It's and like, admittedly, the one in the like Hulk joke bit is my favorite of the suits we saw because right. that suit fucks really hard and is awesome. But the yellow and blue suit is dope. It's so Guys, good. shut up. My, like, two, my two favorite things about it. He's wearing completely normal clothes. Yeah. And he has that suit under Underneath, it. Underneath, yeah. Who gives a fuck? It's awesome. Like, yeah. I love that. And then the cowl makes no sense whatsoever. And I don't care at all. Yeah. Like, it looks, the CG that they use when he's putting it on yeah. looks bad. Yeah. But then when it's, like, actually physically on his face, it's like, that looks great. Especially in profile, dude. That thing looks awesome in profile. It looks so good. Um, it looks so cool. But, like, my, that's my thing. Is like, it's not hanging off the back the entire time. Yeah. It doesn't have to. It's fine for... Yeah. Fuck nanotech, you're allowed to do shit like this. You're, you're allowed to just have a guy pull it out from nowhere. Like, I yeah, I could not care less about the physics of where it was. Yeah, you know who I mean? gives a it, shit? It just doesn't, it lo- doesn't look real as he's putting it yeah, on the first yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. But like... Well, it's because the only way to make those masks for real is it's like a plate that goes over yeah. and a plate that goes over. It's, uh, it is what oh, it is. Like, it you know is what it is. If, again, the, they had been given enough time or budget or whatever to actually make the CG look good, it yeah. would look fine. Like, yeah. that's not my issue with it. 
Um, it's just like, but, see, but it's so seeing cool. him in the mask is so awesome. Good. In the moment is great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Like it plays so well. Yeah. It's like the sorry, jealousy makes me a catty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like maximum effort, and like just fucking wreak havoc. It's so good. Um, who knew like a prayer would be such a good yeah. fucking action movie song, yeah. but but it's it's the like I get genuinely emotional about all the the Wolverine shit in this because yeah. he's. His moment where he's like, I'm an X-Man. I'm the X-Man. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm yeah. going to be like crying a little bit. Yeah. That and you were never the right. You were never the right guy until you were. And yeah. I was like, never has there been a line that like fully, this is the Wolverine. Like that's up there with, uh, I'm the best it is, a, best there is at what I do. What I do isn't very nice. Like those two lines encapsulate who that dude is more than anything I've ever heard yeah. for most characters. Yes. Like it just boils it down. I had the Honda Odyssey fight. Funny, you know, funny thing. I think the the first fight uh, of them in the void is better. I prefer that one. I, the reason I like the Honda Odyssey fight is it is a sex scene. Wonderful point. Like, that is so good. There's an actual part where he stabs him and goo falls on his face and he smiles. They're like, if you watch it, their like knees are over their shoulders. Fair. All right, and it, it it's them you know having what? a hate fuck and it's right. awesome. You've swayed me. That's all but, I needed. But I am also a fan of a like a tight quarters fight, like the elevator fight and stuff. Yeah. It's shit like that is really cool to me. How yeah. you, how people are able to cover oh, it. Oh, I really so well. liked it. Like, don't get me wrong. I just um, I thought I, I liked what they were doing with the yeah, with the guns uh, to get good. <laughs> <laughs> it's when he spits out the bullet for me in that first one. Where yeah. I was like, okay, that was fucking awesome. Was like shit. that, and I love how he used his claws by like pulling him in and out too. Yes. For like, I was like, that's a really were, fun way to do there that. Were a couple of really smart things that they did in the, yeah. in that fight, just like that, where yeah. you, you, you know, he was pulling stuff in and out and like, yeah, there were a couple of those. Was like, Ooh, that was cool. I've, they've yeah. never, I've never seen them do that. Yeah. It, it, it genuinely like a fantastic, those two fights in particular fantasy, the, the assault on the compound is fine. It's like, it's fine. It's the, the it's it, it utterly has, incomprehensible until they start cutting into, yeah, it, it has good beats. It's just yeah. as a whole is pretty nonsensical. Everything um, with Gambit. I'm like, okay, that was cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. cause it, cause it, the, it gives Gambit like the Boom. moment to be cool <laughs> yeah. in a way that it doesn't give Electra or blade or X 23. The, them not giving X 23 is the one that's crazy to me yeah. where I was like, it, the, the, the missed opportunity of this one is not having her and Logan go off together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, prime Wolverine and prime X 23. It's like, why didn't you just have yeah. a moment where they beat the shit out of juggernaut? Yeah. Like whatever it, it is. Again, it's, it's this movie is really just in, in like, I, we disagree on the comedy a little bit too. Like I, for me, it was just consistently funny beginning to end. Like not every joke, but yeah. like I, I, there was never like stretches where I wasn't laughing. There just, there, there came a point where to me, it felt like it was kind of the same joke. The kind of the same setup and punchline, I guess. Pretty, you. pretty repetitively, and like, I, like, it, like doing it wrong. It got, I got. There were some big laughs all the way through. He has risen, baby girl. Is yeah. like genuinely one of the funniest things I've seen in movie all year. It like, got, it got some genuinely good big belly laughs for me. Me and Megan were probably the, the uh, in the theater, and it was a look. We went. Uh, how many weeks has it been? Oh, open? it's uh, a month almost. Over a month, yeah, just um, about. And we went and saw it in a nearly full theater. Yeah, it's. I mean, like, it's, it's made one. It, it's looking to end at like one point three, one point four billion whoa. dollars. Yeah, made Which so is, much money. Uh, like, the pe- box office needed it. Like bad. Oh, like, oh we needed it. And I, 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 the funny thing to me, it like, th- does that not prove a little bit that star power still exists? Uh, you know what I mean? Interesting question. Now, like, the, it, does it or does it prove that like Wolverine is famous? Like kind of how Anthony Mackie's talked about it. Where he's like Falcon's the famous character. Right, Anthony Mackie's like, just a guy. Wolverine has been in. A, Wolverine was in the Wolverine. Yeah, no, I get you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like it like that. I think it's like part of it is. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying IP that IP ness of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, what's up? TikTok. <laughs> Uh, the I the I I, I piety uh, yeah. of it um, uh, has nothing to do with it. What I'm saying is like so much of it feels like uh, people heard Channing was in it. Yeah, and so they were like, "Fuck and, it, we gotta and, go see this." And, uh, and Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds and you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, like, I feel like part of that is that, and then like it's a MCU Deadpool movie. Everybody's really interested to see what that. But again, yeah. it's like a lot of people don't really like the movie. All that much, like it, it gets a ton of hate. 
in a yeah. way in a way that and I'm it like one point it's gonna make oh 1. it's 3. Well, because everyone went and saw it right. you know what I mean like they like for all the reasons you said um and it became such a cultural staple you like kind of had to go see it yeah I, everyone who's complaining about it I like <sighs> had you not been as as uh ha- open about how much you really do like it like had you not felt the way you felt about it I might have skipped it legitimately oh really yeah that's funny because I I heard I heard some well it's not that I, it's not that I didn't want to go see it. It's I was struggling to go see it. Um, yeah. And, and I was a, like, and so this past weekend, me and Megan like made a priority to go see that yeah. while it was still in theaters over other things that we could have seen. Yeah. Um, because of the way I knew that you felt about it. And, yeah. Which was intriguing. Cause like, the, the, again, the way that you describe it, it's like, there's a lot that like doesn't work, but I can't help but really yeah. like it's it. It's like a like, movie that makes me happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, yeah. like I walk out of it and I, it, it's effective. Yes. I can't say it's not effective. Look, it's like, and people are like, Alien Romulus has all the same fan servicey shit in it. So why is everyone not dogging on that? And it's like, because that movie, like the craft of that movie goes so fucking hard. It's so effective at what it's doing elsewhere. And also there's not nearly as much fan service. Like it is. Wow. You are comparing apples to fucking T-Rexes. Like yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, it's just, it's some things I, I saw some people talking about where it's like, they're both just filled with fan service. And all that. It's like, look, Alien Romulus has fan service. I'm not going to say it does not have fan service. Right. But it's not the same thing. And it also, people have been dogging on it for yeah. some yeah. fan service choices. Yeah. So like to say well, that it's like, unscathed. And is... Deadpool and Wolverine is like, it is exactly what it marketed. Like what it set out to be. It's, it is that it's what it was marketed as. It's that. It's like, what it's, it is on the 10. You got, you, you got what's on the 10. Yeah. It's like, sure. they're, they're not, trying to pretend that it's anything else. They're not like, this is going to win Oscars and shit yeah. like that. It's like, no, 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 They knew what movie they were making. They yeah. were making a movie about friends yeah. and got a bunch of their friends to come do it. They're yeah. making a movie about a, this era that's gone. Yeah. And they got a bunch of people to come back and do it. And do I wish they had gotten some of the more mainstay people? Yeah. Like it would have been cool to see a, a James Marsden show up and have Logan have that moment or some yeah. shit. I wish the Deadpool cast was a little more involved too. Yeah. Um, like Rob Delaney still got to play with him and he's fan fucking tastic so as Peter. Um, Peter Poole. Peter! Peter! Just giant package. Yeah. Have fun with my Peter. <laughs> he's running away. Oh my God. Um, what, 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 how do you feel about the kind of, for Deadpool's emotional through line with his like friends and also uh his his ex i can't remember vanessa vanessa like i feel like honestly if you ask me those things are like a tiny bit muddled yeah where it's like is it for them is it for just for her is it you know like where is she yeah. is he trying to win her back or you know like it's like that's a little that emotionally that's a little muddled for me uh but only a little like yeah like again it, like it definitely at the end of the day feels like he was doing it for all of them, but like he was doing it to prove to Vanessa he could be. When I wish the arc was that was why he set out to do it, and then what he ended up doing, yeah, was like proving to himself he was worth it, which is like kind of what it does when he stops Logan from going in there, yes. Um, which is a great bit of comedy when he's like supermaning, and then he's, that's it's, so good, it's so that, fucking that funny. Full belly laugh that one got me, like, um, yeah. But it's and then at the end he's like whatever his line there at the end he he says it makes it feel a little bit like he was doing it all just to prove to her something to her that it's, it's, like, it's like it didn't quite work for me it didn't quite land for me but I'm still emotional about it like having him in his weird like vision well I also fucking love that Hugh's entire suit explodes and Deadpool's is just fine and there's that. Yeah, check it out the yeah. fucking v. But I also like that there's not like an end battle in this. Like the the end battle is more that cool epic fight. There's not like a boss yeah. fight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uzi time, baby. Yeah. Oh, that is one of the best bits. And this is when he's holding him, and he's like, "You're." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit. and then when Hugh stands up and he just walks across <laughs> yeah, with like the dog. Through the... <laughs> so fucking that funny. Works. Yeah, that like that's another one of those like the idea for the Deadpool fight worked better than the execution. Yeah, you it, know? It, I kind of pictured it as like it needed two more passes and it would have been there. Yeah, like the the beats of it are all really yes, rad. Like 100%. all of the beats, and then there's like specific, like the idea of doing the all profiles really cool. Yeah. Um, it just needed a couple VFX passes, yeah. like, and that's the bummer. But like the part again, it's like when he gets zapped back and then they all run, and it's that. 
beat, 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 and then body parts just, it's yeah. like, that's really funny. That's yeah, like yeah. a really good idea. It's like, and that's, and that is, again, like, why I feel like conflicted about this movie is like, man, like, just, what? Like, why didn't you give it the time? Yeah. Like, it could have, it, why could this not have been a, a, a Christmas release? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. not Christmas, but you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> yeah. why couldn't this have been a December movie? And like, giving it a few extra, or, you know, whatever. I agree, it's the only Marvel movie coming out this, this year. Wild. Um, okay. First time in like literally a decade that that's happened. Um, Crazy. Yeah, which is good. I think Marvel needed to take it a beat and to... think about it. Now I think there's and like think about what you did. Think about what you did. Go Kevin. sit down in um, your corner. I'm trying to think if any Disney Plus shit. And he means shit. No, I'm kidding. I I haven't watched any of it. Like Loki came out. Loki season two came out this year, right? I. F- at, was that this year? I think so. Like very early or, this year, or end of last? End of last. So Let's find out. You anyway. you you talk. Anyway, no, I just uh, they needed to take a beat. They need to do something. But like I I don't know, man. I just some, you get me with a movie that wears its heart on its sleeve like this, and it last just kind of oh last year oh, yeah. October November last year uh, uh, X Men ninety seven was the other oh yeah thing. that's but a, that's like and beloved oh my god x-men 97 is so ethan yeah. puts it a great way where he, he's like it's got some of the most soap opera y storylines with some of the best dialogue uh, <laughs> in recent times it's like man it's x-men like it's, that's, yeah that's the like, fucking 90s yeah. show which x-men 97 is really fucking good yeah like that show is awesome it's beloved again yeah. universally beloved like um but they made the x-men woke so <laughs> <laughs> wish I could I, like it <laughs> I can't even I, I want to yes and this but it's the dumbest fucking thing people if you think X-Men is woke you're the stupidest it's, person it's, on the planet it, or or look if you want to use that term or whatever it was always that that's what since I mean since it was created if you have like, an issue with if it going woke you were the dumbest so person so fucking on the stupid Deadpool 3 is about a gay married couple I don't care what anyone says like, yeah yeah, the, the people who think that uh, the th- the people who think X Men ninety seven is woke are the same people that think Fight Club is the coolest, most yeah, badass. Yeah, like uh, dude, bro, I'm gonna yeah. start a Fight Club tomorrow. Uh, people of all time, it's like that is the gayest movie. Yeah, that is the movie gayest is movie so that gay. does not include anal sex. Yeah. Like that, it is so gay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, it's so funny. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I just, I just really like. Deadpool three. Like it's again, it's like, I don't, I don't, if you walked up to me and told me you absolutely uh, like loathed this movie, I'd be like, okay, cool. Like, I, I think that's selling it a little short, but okay. You're, if superheroes aren't your thing, if, if a story about a guy with knives coming out of his knuckles, you can't get pat, whatever. Yeah. If that's cool. I mean, grow up a little. Yeah. Like like be, you know, open your mind a little. Yeah. It's like movies can also just be fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that is a part of cinema. That's really, really rad. Like, are you telling me that fucking Buster Keaton was telling these huge emotional stories? No, No, they're fun. It's fun. They're fun movies. And it's like, you look at the Batman that is like craft city. Like that movie is so well made on every single level from costuming to set deck to CGI to everything about that movie works. Yeah. This doesn't have that, but it's also setting out to do an entirely different thing than the Batman is yeah. doing. The Batman is telling this like epic crime saga. It's trying to be really like, like dissect some ideas of corruption yeah. and trauma and like what trauma looks like for different people in different weight or um, not weight wealth classes. Yeah. Like it really is about a it lot of a things. Lot to say. It has yeah. a lot to say. This movie does not have like a lot to say. It just is. No, but like it just is. It's it's a little love letter to a bunch of people who were a th- part of a thing once. Look, like, it, there's there's a version of Deadpool that is just the fourth wall breaking meta humor, yeah. over the top, uh, bloody action, it, and that is what all three have done the best. Is that they aren't just that. Yes, like they they bring in an actual heart and emotion and people behind the camera, and behind the the writing who really. You care, yeah. you know what I mean? You take like, it seriously, like, like I, I, I mourn a little bit the Deadpool three that David Leach could have directed, yeah, because God, that would have married all the shit that I love about these movies yes. really well. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, the especially after Fall Guy, which is so such a love letter to the stunt community. It's yeah. like, man, if imagine if you made that with it anyway. No, I completely agree. Yeah, I, I yeah. I, I, what, like, what else has Sean Levy done? Uh, uh, Real Steel. Uh, oh, <laughs> then, I, I, I like that I like movie. Real Steel. Real Steel's fun. 
Um, uh, he also is one of the main guys on Stranger Things. He's one of the main oh. returning directors. He's directed like episodes in every season. Interesting. I didn't know. That. Um, some of the better, bigger episodes he's been the director on. Like he he's directing on it literally right now. Um, he's yeah he's back in uh, back in Hawkins. Um, so it's not like he hasn't done shit. Uh, Dan in real life, I think he did. I I I saw that movie when I was with Free Guy. Yeah, um, he's the Adam he, Project. Him and Ryan Reynolds are like a pair now. Yeah, like they're they, they're he's his in his in house director. Look it, for for any issues I have with Sean Sean Levy, uh, he did say something on the Adam Project actually that I, I think about all the time. And what the the whole the whole point of making a movie is to love what you're making and love the process of making it. And if you can marry those two things, you're successful. Yeah, like that's that's to me the whole thing of it. I want to make something I'm passionate, but I also want to have fun making it. You know what I mean? Like I want to care and love making it as much as I love the thing. And I don't want to do one without the other. I don't want to just love the process of making a thing, but hate the thing I'm making. He's directed episodes three and four specifically of every season. Of yeah, yeah. Three and four specifically. Yeah. That's so funny. Uh, they, they block them. You know, the one yeah, guy know, does one, two, three, four. Yeah. It's just, it's just what it, I mean. Like I can't imagine every single director has come back for every single season. Yeah. Maybe they have, maybe they have, but um, I, I know just he think has. that I've never, I've never seen that on a television show. I just think that's funny. Yeah. So anyway, uh, nothing against Sean Levy at all. I, a free guy is a perfectly funny little movie. Um, that is very similar to Deadpool in a lot of he ways. He also like, directed uh, Night at the Museum, yeah. several, all of them, may, potentially. Cheaper by the Dozen, like, yeah. I, you know, I liked that movie. Like, yeah, he's he's a he's a working director. He is a working man. He is he, a working director. He's a journeyman director. Yeah, he's been he's been directing since. Now that being ninety four, he's about to make a bunch of Marvel movies. Is what I think is going to happen. Yeah. Um, Animorphs. He directed three episodes of Animorphs. There we go. And a Beyonce music video. That's actually surprising. I, and the and the 2006 Pink Panther. There we go. Sorry, and now I'm just interested in Sean Levy. Yeah. Um, date night. That movie's okay. Date night's weird. Um, I like Real Steel better than I think I should. I enjoy it. Dude, Real Steel is another one of those movies that's just fun. Like it's just a silly concept that they take really pretty seriously in yeah. a way that I appreciate because it's like why half-ass something like that? Yeah. Um. Anyway, fascinating. So, yeah, like, all of the action directing choices make a lot more sense to me now. Yeah. Not to say that he, I, he's, he's incapable or anything like that. It's just, you know, I've, I've seen some of the action scenes in some of those. It's, like, clearly, like, he's more focused on, like, comedy and performance. And, and in reality, and, these are Ryan Reynolds' movies. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, whatever. It is what it is. But that um, being said, like, you could, the, the, the stark difference in the way that the movies are made between uh, one, two and three between yeah. Miller. What's Tim Miller? Uh, Rob Miller, Rob, Tim Miller, Tim Miller, Tim, Steve, uh, uh, John Dis Miller, Jonathan Miller, <laughs> Jonathan Miller, uh, David Leach. And, and uh, it's fun. Uh, it's, it's cool. Th- yeah. And it's why I desperately want Deadpool four when it inevitably gets made to be made by somebody else, but it will be made by Sean Levy. Sean yeah. Levy will direct it. Yeah. Um, which look like, in fairness that mission, that was the whole precedent of the mission movies for so long. And, and Macquarie kind of came in and has killed it on all of them that he's done. Right. Yeah. But like Macquarie's Macquarie, you know what I mean? Oh like, no, no, it's, it's, like, not the, <laughs> it's not the same thing, but I mean, if you got to go, if you have a, a good working relationship and your movies are successful, exactly. pop off. It's, like, I mean, that's uh, Macquarie and Tom Cruise are very similar in their working relationship to Ryan Reynolds and, and, um, Sean Levy, they uh, Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy have worked on their last like four movies together. Like yeah, but like well, not all, not every single one of uh, Ryan Reynolds. You know, he's done some other stuff without Sean Levy. He's been in other stuff. He hasn't mm-hmm. done other. Okay, stuff. Yeah. all right, per- great way of di- great yeah. distinction. Like great distinction. Uh, Adam Project was Sean Levy. Free yeah. Guy was Sean Levy. Those are both Ryan Reynolds' movies. Right, right. You know what I mean? He's but then, been like, Red Notice. And, yeah, like, like uh, Red Six no- Underground Red, or whatever. Yeah, like Six uh, Underground was Michael Bay. <laughs> so yes, nobody was yeah. fucking touching that shit. That's um, what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, differentiating it as Ryan Reynolds projects versus projects Ryan Reynolds are in yeah. is is a really good distinction, I think. Yeah. Um, but like, I mean, like, I would argue that like Top Gun was a Tom Cruise, but wait, Macquarie he wrote on it. Okay, there you go. Yep. There you go. Well, uh, there you go. Very no, th- true. But that being said, Joseph Kaczynski came in with the whole idea of it, mm. and then Macquarie came in to like help them yeah. figure out shit. 
uh, which God is damn it, the movie's so good. Oh, Top Gun, Top Gun Mavericks, a banger. We were literally talking about it again last night. That movie should play once a month in every IMAX screen across the country, <laughs> and it would do phenomenal. It would do well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that is so accurate. Uh, yeah, yeah, just like yeah, a, like a couple nights yeah. every month. Yeah, that is so fucking accurate. I want it. I would love that. I would. I would go. And that would be. I would go relatively consistently. Yeah, I, <laughs> like I, I, I 100% every agree. other month, I'd be seeing Top Gun Maverick. I 100 percent agree. I'd be sitting there next to you. Yeah, because we'd be fucking, sharing a popcorn, baby. Absolutely, it'd be fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. I mean, do you have anything else on Deadpool and Wolverine? No. Um, I'm trying to think. Like uh, any any uh, uh, other particular moments that are worth hanging a hat on. Um, any other any other big jokes that you were particularly liked any other big big, big uh, moments that worked for you really well i uh i think um uh what's his name the actor who, who's um uh mr darcy um, oh who plays um, the tva guy something mcfadden oh uh yeah uh, I, my brain but don't please, keep talking i'll find please. it please uh uh he is so fun in this like um uh matthew matthew, Mc- matthew mcfadden yeah it's matthew mcfadden or fadden i'm not 100 percent sure um he is having so much fun in this. I really like what he's doing. He's um, so good in Succession. Yeah, I want. I I need to watch Succession. Is he? Uh, is he funny? Like in the in the way that he is funny in this in in Succession. Like I know he's like sniveling and like uh, like a little you know like. Okay. He is okay. There's cool. a reason he's doing this in this movie. Got it. Um, got it. Got it. Got it. Because he like fucking Succession. Am I the guy? Am I the guy? <laughs> I've seen one clip where it's uh, where it's him uh, questioning the guy about his uh, Nazi past. Yes, that's a really, really, really funny scene. That is so you're like uh, uh, just checking the till here. Uh, yeah, we're uh, we're off by a few million. Yeah, um, it's like yeah. What what part about that uh, time in history? You know the scope. Uh, you know uh, the the the. It's, it's just yeah. like God. Oh. Good shit. Good yep. shit. Succession is one of the best. I, I'm on season three right now. One of the best written shows I've ever seen. Yeah. It's so perfect and surprising every single episode. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. No, he's great. Everyone is great in it. I think I don't think there's like anybody who's not putting in the work in the movie. Yeah. Um. Everyone's just chewing up scenery and having yeah. fun. And oh, Jennifer Garner looks great. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I, that movie, when would we did freaking Electra and and Daredevil twenty years ago twenty yeah. plus years ago yeah. looks like, like aged a day she's yeah. aged a single day since then Jennifer I, whatever I do you do love that joke it. where he's like Daredevil died I'm sorry that's eh, fine <laughs> <laughs> it's so good she's oh yeah. just like brilliant uh, everything with dog pool yeah everything with dog pool I, that dog is the ugliest dog on the planet and yet it's so cute yeah he's just a cute yeah. little baby cute little monster yeah um the 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 uh, i think it's when wolverine is holding him and the dog literally like puts his hand up like at, like on the beat like yeah. it was, oh good shit oh it's when i think it's when he's trying to hand the dog back over to nice pool yeah everything with nice pool worked really well for me oh yeah i can lightly tap can- the fourth wall too <laughs> The proposal. The proposal. And then he looks like, bitch, do you think that's what I do? <laughs> uh, that the other the other gag that really made me laugh is like, how long does it take you to regenerate? Regenerate? <laughs> <laughs> that pause after that. So, you did that on purpose. How was I supposed to know? Yeah. It's fucking great. Good shit. Such a good gag, man. Uh, what did you think about everything with uh, Cassandra Nova? Is that Fine. a comic book character? No, yes, Cassandra Nova is a comic okay, book. She's supposed like, to be a shriveled old woman. Okay. Um. So from that perspective, eh, but I I like the way the fingers through the face. It looks so wrong that in all is the, the right ways. The only special effect that worked. For yeah, me. I was it like, looked great. Yeah. Why is that the only one that looked great? It yeah. clearly that's the thing they spent the most time on. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like every time they do it, it legitimately looks very good. It's like re- and it, it's weird enough that it's yeah. I'm super into that effect. Yeah. Um. I I thought it was fine. She's a pretty serviceable Marvel villain. You know. Yeah. I I think uh, Emma Corrin. I will. I believe anything you tell me. I think they do great. I think yeah. they're fantastic. Yeah. Um. But uh, the villain is the villain. Yeah. There's a reason they kill this villain off in one. You know what I mean? Like it's like eh, it's fine. Yeah. So send this one in. Yeah. Um, it works. They, they, they don't is, work. Is Cassandra Nova like in the like 
in in like the comic book continuity to a certain degree is uh, are they like a, is she like a recurring is she always there or is she like in no, some she's from nether realm she's from Jonathan Hickman's run so she's okay. a, a relatively recent character like in the two thousands I oh, think I think I I think I know uh, the, the I think I know the run. Um, I think I've seen bits and or I, I know yeah a bit the about the it. fucking the the uh, Charles beating the shit out of her in the yeah, in the yeah. womb that yeah, whole yeah. bit yeah weird 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 Charles is one of the weirdest families because Juggernaut is his stepbrother yeah. <laughs> oh the shit with Sabretooth. Was yeah, really good. yeah. That was that were I knew that was how it was gonna go. Yeah, uh, and I was excited for it instantly. Yeah, like the the bit when Hulk is standing there and he's like, there's that pause and he's like, "I'm Marvel Jesus, you dull creature. I will not be." And he does the Loki model, and he gets like, that was funny. As, yeah. as like a long time Marvel fan, that was a good bit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's just uh, yeah. Smile, wait for the flash, and the end of the gun was a funny idea. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> that's bit. a good. That's a good little. Yeah, like a good little bit. The freaking uh, gold plated uh, pistoleros, uh, pistoler- the yeah, fifty e- caliber gold plated Desert yeah. Eagle pistoleros. Yeah, <laughs> good, good works, Rick. But I did get these. It's yeah. like fucking asshole. Good shit. <laughs> so good. I get to kill a hundred of you. Fuck yeah, I'm ready. Good line. Yeah. Good line. Yeah. 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 I just like this movie. Yeah. Kind of hard stop. Yeah. To be sentimental and maybe a bad cinephile about it. Fucking Bad. whatever. I like this movie. You know, all right let's spend five minutes yeah. let's spend the last tight five real quick yeah <laughs> oh, let me get a clean one on that wait, wait, wait. all right that was a good one <laughs> Do I recommendations or anything or eh, mini so if i can i um what am a I, quick one we'll just do quick what ones. am i watching right now what what am i watching right now fuck you go first. Mine's not a uh, uh, an entertainment product in any way, shape, or form. It's a productivity tool Ooh. called Note Plan. Um, if you find yourself, if you if you take a lot of notes, and you also have a calendar that you have to deal with, um, and you want to be more productive in your day to day life, I suggest Note Plan. It's it's nerdy in the way that I like it to be because you can essentially every single day on the calendar is a new note. And then you also have a bank uh, and like an archive of other separate notes that work the same and they can be connected to each other in really cool ways. And uh, it can help you and it connects to your actual like Apple and Google calendars mm-hmm. and stuff. So you can block out time and, um, and, 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 and work on projects and things like that. There's a really, really um, dedicated community for building templates and themes and all this kind of stuff. A bunch of plugins. I haven't touched any of that yet. I've only been using it the past few days. It's a really, really cool tool. It's a paid tool. Uh, it's 10 bucks a month. Um, but if you find yourself lacking in a productivity or like organizational point of view, uh, Note Plan is a cool thing. So it's like, honestly, great for personal life, great for work, great for creative ventures, and all three combined. Yeah. So Note Plan, kind of a cool thing that I just started fucking around with, and I, I recommend it. Uh, sick. I'm going to recommend... The Muppets with Jason C. Shit, yeah, dude. I rewatched that movie. It fucking rules. Shit, it's like yeah. it's, it's amazing that people love the Muppets so much that they're allowed to do like real, like actual bits and humor and jokes and like cinematic shit with yeah. the Muppets. Like, yeah. it's, I love it. I love that there's that reverence for for them. Uh, Am I a man or a Muppet is just a banger. Like it's, I'm, the, it's one of the best uh, original songs ever made for a movie. Straight up, like yes, I, I'm not even kidding. It's it is. Um, I love that movie. So I rewatched that, and then I saw Apocalypse Now, the final cut in theaters fucking um too long the final cuts too long yeah there's a whole chunk you could just remove and there's a reason it was removed from the theatrical like literally there's an Mm. entire like 10 or 15 minutes you could just go so as a first watch you would just recommend watching the theatrical or i don't know which version i saw first whichever one happened to be on hbo in like 2020 fascinating i would have I would, I it's, it's the redu. All of them are relatively famous, and all of them change pretty drastic. Okay, because it's it's theatrical redux and final. I think I think there's one other, I, but I don't. It's not as it's not as no. Uh, like the redux is. I think I, I've heard a lot of people just say the theatrical is fine. 
Yeah. Like I want to go watch them all. I need to just look up a video of like, here's the differences yeah. and what they change. Cause I've never seen any of them. Cause Oh, you haven't seen apocalypse. I've now? never seen apocalypse now. Oh dude, you would fucking love know, apocalypse. It's, it is one of the most visually arresting films I've no, ever seen. Like, holy shit. I also never seen the Godfather part two. I've never seen the Godfather part two. I can admit that. Whoa, really? No, I've never seen that one. You've seen the first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Let's watch fucking Godfather I'm part two soon. Super in. Let's do what it. What the fuck? How I can't honestly, I can't believe you haven't I, seen it. I, I know. My review of The Godfather on Letterboxd is I'm so glad I can stop saying I haven't seen The Godfather yeah. now. <laughs> Fucking A, let's watch it. And the, we both own The Godfather Part 2 yeah. also, and we haven't watched it. We own all three of them, both yeah, of us. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. You you have the pack, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, we, have, we have two different packs, yeah. yeah. Hilarious. I, yeah. Did, I didn't know that. Hilarious. Okay. Well, we'll watch that soon, that'll and maybe that'll be a B segment. That'll be a mini episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, but maybe the we'll best relegate. Movie we'll relegate the Godfather Part Two to a we'll ten make, minute conversation. We'll relegate it to the fucking B segment. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's a hilarious idea. Let's find the worst movie we can find. Do yeah. it as the main episode, and then ten minutes on the Godfather Part Two. Uh, the episode that we talked about doing next, uh, the mm-hmm. thing that I'm recommending. Yeah. That'll be a great B segment. For that. that would be fucking, <laughs> fucking hilarious. I'm kind of super on board We're for doing that. that. That's now. funny. We have to. Anyway, anyway. Uh, that's that's that. You got some stuff to watch. Yeah. Support this movie. That's great for the box office. So yeah. even if you don't like it, it's good that it's doing well. And or go support other movies. That yeah, are, dude. You no, know, there's um fucking maybe not a Disney movie. Throw out some movies that I don't know if I, I I I'm in the minority on this one. Don't know how I feel about it. But Strange Darling is fascinating movie yeah like genuinely i've thought about it a ton i just don't know if it's for me yeah but that is a little tiny movie that you should go see because it's fucking awesome like trigger warning on it it's very intense but it's a very 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 interesting unique movie i know literally nothing about it i knew i knew literally nothing about anything any 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 two second pitch it is a serial killer thriller okay but in a really cool way like interesting it's, it's told in a very okay. unique cool way that i'm is I'm, that an american movie yes, okay yes um interesting. Uh, really a uh, great cast everyone's phenomenal in it um you should go see that i also didn't like love the movie cuckoo Ooh. but it's really weird and unique and you should go support go that tiny little movie man yeah. like everyone is like it's nothing but slop and then alien romulus out right now and it's like no there's like a lot of little cool movies that have pretty fun to do oh they're, they're not considering that with the slop they're, I just, know. they're just like we saw that now no one's gonna go it's like if you look for 10 minutes you'll find really cool shit to go yeah. see like and I, i'm fortunate that there's alamo so i can constantly just go see the re-release shit like yeah. i literally have like seven movie tickets in my alamo app right now yeah <laughs> like, or go see a movie from a fucking different country that's yeah. playing in a cinemark somewhere yeah. you know like like oh yeah but that's something i mean you and i need to start doing more is going yeah. seeing like the bollywood and yeah. hollywood shit that plays in cinemarks around they, us all the time are they subtitled or yeah, yeah okay cool they should be i'll confirm that yeah. but I, they should be yeah yeah because yeah there's like there's a couple of cinemarks next to us that are just they constantly have oh, Bollywood, yeah, yeah. Tollywood, yeah. that kind of stuff in there. And I, I've always wanted to like go and see them, but yeah. there's, it's, it's such a new, different world that I don't really know where to start. If anybody uh, has any recommendations, I've but, been recommended by an old, uh, a former co- yeah. coworker. Please do, um, yeah, please, some, please some, recommend some, uh, some shit. Some uh, Pakistani, uh, or they may not be Pakistani specifically, um, but um, anyway, yeah. she recommended some movies uh, that she really loves. Movies. Anyways, anyway, that's it. That's that's the mini sode. Go um, watch a bunch of movies. Go watch a bunch of movies, or don't. I don't know. I don't know. Live your life. Yeah. <laughs>